Again, we are here with Dr. Bruno Chickley. And Dr. Chickley, you've spoken to us about lymph drainage therapy a bit. What we'd like to know, for those who are perhaps less familiar or are prospective students, what can we hope to expect from learning this curriculum? Would you please talk to us and explain in more detail the uh, basic principles of lymph drainage therapy? Yes, actually. What's fun is that I touch a very gentle touch, non-invasive, um, that can do so much for the body. So we throw it really off. Because imagine if you could really enter the body with so much softness, contact, connection, and have so much effect. Imagine how much you could work on, as I said, with babies, with animals, with older uh, you know, person. But it's really a loving touch. Give you permission to contact the tissue, contact the person with a loving touch in the silence. Find their own rhythm and help their own biological rhythms. So you really help nature on its way, right? And we have a lot of chiropractor, osteopath, um, PTs, um, MDs, uh, nurses, massage therapists, dentists, everything, and everyone is coming to learn in their own profession how to apply such a gentle loving touch and they probably learn something very mechanical very structural much more invasive before and it's amazing to give them something so gentle uh, so um, loving and be able to see how much they can uh, they can use that for so the, the principle is to connect with something that is a biological function in the body and attune to it and not come there and just to pull and push. That would work on a very strong uh, fascia, but it doesn't necessarily work on fluid. If you grab very hard at your fluid, nothing is going to happen. So we have to make a whole switch in their practice, in their applications, and inside themselves. So at the end, they're going to develop such a spectrum of touch from very, very light to very, very heavy, they're going to keep all those approaches, combine them together, and be able to address when needed with a light touch and when needed with a heavier touch. And if somebody's coming to your office with a car accident, sometimes you have a hidden fracture, like uh, um, the old don't weed. And sometimes in the neck you don't see those fractures, and if you begin to use a lot of force, uh, you may create problems without knowing. Why we can do a lot of things with this fluid, and sometimes, most of the time, we don't even use any uh, very structural techniques. Sometimes we do use them, but most of the time it's very, very gentle and very uh, loving and very connecting. So, um, you um, will use those techniques for, for sure, edema, lymphedema, so stagnation of fluids. But stagnation could be in the gum, after you know, the dentist, or it could be in your eyes. Uh, it could be in your ears, it could go in your guts, it can go in the joint, it could be uh, in your muscle. Um, and you can also have stagnation because your rhythm, stress is there. You lost your body rhythms and bring back the rhythms to your body. Something really nurturing and very calming. And then you can for sure use that for inflammation, chronic inflammation, subacute inflammation, otitis, bronchitis, laryngitis. All those IS uh, pathologies and um, detoxification, which mean anytime you need to detox after a sport, after um, if you want to change the complexion of the skin, if you want to release a, a toxic liver from too much sulfites from the wine that are not organic, or medication, long term medication, or um, with your joke with fried food, too much fried food, or, or um, hepatitis, or um, the liver, um, some vitamins you take that are not, not good for you, for example, or something that can make a stagnation in your liver, it's or, or something we use a lot, um, uh, a surgery, you know, anesthesia, anesthesia, especially older people. Have you seen those, those patients that come, they get a surgery, they are 60, 70 years old, and they never recover, they're never the same. You just have to drain the liver. All those dogs that are old, they don't look for the ball, just drain the liver. A lot of time they eat a lot of cans, it's not the best food for them. And they just, they run after the ball all the time because we need to have those stagnation 
those toxins detoxify um, out of our system. Um, we can use it also um, for tissue regeneration because we get rid of the toxic inflammation. You can use that for um, wound healing, for fractures, for scars, for anti-aging. It's probably one of the best uh, applications is uh, technique we have for anti-aging. Um, we can use it for stress, sleeping disorders. And one of the main um, applications people are so happy with is for chronic pain. If you have a chronic pain clinic, um, a lot of chronic pain are just a lot of um, microscopic fluid stagnation. Sometimes around the nerve endings or something like that. We need to study that more because the, resu the results are spectacular. Many students come and say they try everything they know, they have studied body work for 20 years, and a little bit of limbs make a huge difference. For the first time, the pain is gone. And so um, there's many, many applications for many uh, professional and for many, uh, many kind of patients. Um, and um, the principal are the fluids, but we expand the lymph to interstitial fluid, to synovial fluid, to uh, a bit of cerebrospinal fluid, and we expand it also to fascia. And we combine how um, we can feel it in, a, in an area of the body. If the problem is more fascia or fluid, and then bring together those two problems and release in, in one stroke that we call lymphofascia release. So you ask me how does it complement with other therapies? And just by reading a physiology book or my book, you could see that the lymphatic system help every other system in the body to um, function properly, um, to function at its best. And for us to be more clear, to be more aware, and to be at our best, to really transform, to help transform by tissue regeneration, detoxification, to make those fluid let you transform into what you really need to be. That's a bit the secret of lymph. So when you apply those techniques, you're going to help every other system in the body. So if you work with cranial, we know that the cerebrospinal fluid is largely reabsorbed into the lymphatics, more than the veins. And you put a dye in the first experience ever on cerebrospinal fluid, 1869, you put a dye in the cerebrospinal fluid, you find it in the nodes of the neck in a few minutes. So they are really brother and sister, and it's very amazing to work of the deep sacred fluid inside your core, your center, cerebrospinal fluid, and your fluid outside, connecting outside and connecting with other people through that, this loving connection that we have with people through the, the fluid on the periphery too. When you connect those two, you have amazing uh, applications. Uh, viscera, we do viscera in a different way. We work more with inside um, the organs, the fluid inside to detoxify. Viscera works a little more with other capsule, uh, the ligaments outside, um, with uh, deep tissue, raw thing, um, uh, hello work, all those neuromuscular therapy. When sometimes you have to really go the heavy on the tissue, if you apply a little bit of lymph before, the tissue relaxes, less inflammation, less tension, you don't have to deal that much. It's so much easier. Some people, every stroke, rather than just do fascia, they do fascia and, oh, where the fluid go? This one, okay. And then they release on every stroke, they do neuromuscular lymphatic therapy, or they do hello work lymphatic therapy, because they do it at the same time. If you don't know how to do that, at the end of your treatment, you will do a little bit of lymph and uh, prevent side effects such as the pain, the chronic, you know, uh, hematoma and things like that you can create. Well, thank you for that. The applications sound nearly endless. The contraindications we did not get to, they are few. So thank you very much, Dr. Chickley, for sharing that today.